the domain of the function f of x is equal to 1 by root of mod x minus minus f of x is equal to 1 by root of mod x minus x is option a minus infinity plus infinity, option b 0 to infinity, option b my option b 0 to infinity, option c minus infinity to 0, option d is minus infinity to infinity minus r minus 0, option d is minus infinity to infinity minus 0. Look at this dear students. This is 1 by root of mod x minus x. Look at this mod x minus x, this must be positive. Do you agree with me? Mod x minus x should not be 0 because if it is 0, f of x tends to infinity. Condition number 1. Condition number 2 is mod x minus x must be positive because root of anything must be positive, otherwise, you will get an imaginary number. Therefore, mod x minus x must be positive that is the condition number 1. Mod x minus x is positive means mod x must be greater than x. So, this is the second condition. Now, the same condition is rewritten here. Mod x is greater than x. Now, let us analyze that dear students. Let us draw the graph of both mod x and x in analyze. So, the graph of mod x is clearly like this. Do you agree with me? Straight line. Mod x is x if x is positive, minus x if x is negative. This is y is equal to mod x. Do you agree with me? Now, and the second one is y is equal to x. You can see this green line. This is y is equal to x. Right? This is y is equal to x. Y is equal to r, x or x is equal to y. So, if you observe carefully, for all the values of x greater than 0, mod x is same as x. This is y is equal to mod x and this is y is equal to x also. So, if x is same as mod x, then denominator becomes 0. Therefore, this is a ruled out condition. I repeat, if y is equal to x is equal to y is equal to mod x, that is possible only when x is positive. When x is positive, y is equal to x is same as y is equal to mod x. If y is equal to x is equal to y is equal to mod x, then denominator becomes 0. If denominator becomes 0, f of x becomes infinite. Do you agree with me? That means to say, 0 to infinity is a ruled out case. 0 to infinity is a ruled out case. Therefore, option A is ruled out and option B is also ruled out. And we have to talk about D. D is also ruled out because we have 0 to infinity included there. So, clearly option C is correct. But also, let us talk about it. Here, if you observe carefully, this is y is equal to mod x. This is y is equal to x. y is equal to mod x is above y is equal to x. Therefore, mod x is greater than x if x is negative. x is negative means x belongs to minus infinity to plus 0. Therefore, option C is correct. The value of greatest integer function of 1 by 2 plus 1 by 1000, 1 by 2 plus 2 by 1000, plus 1 by 2 plus 3 by 1000 up to 1 by 2 plus 999 by 1000 is option A is 498, option B is 499, option C is 500 and option D is 501. Students, if you observe carefully, look at this. This is 0.5, this is 1 by 1000, 1 by 1000 means 0.001. Do you agree with me? The value of this is 0.5001. What is integral greatest integer function of 0.501? That is equal to 0. Right? So, this will be 0. Do you agree with me? This is 1 by 2 plus 2 by 1000. That is 0.002 that is 0 0.5002. Do you agree with me? That means to say, in greatest integer function of a fraction, that is also 0. 
नेक्स्ट वन बाई टू प्लस थ्री बाई थाउजेंड विल बी पॉइंट फाइव जीरो जीरो थ्री वन बाई टू प्लस फोर बाई थाउजेंड विल बी पॉइंट फाइव जीरो जीरो फोर लाइक दैट इट कंटिन्यूज सो द आंसर शुड बी जीरो इज इट करेक्ट नो आंसर इज नॉट जीरो वेट लुक एट द लास्ट वन बिफोर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द इंटरमीडिएट वैल्यूज लुक एट द लास्ट वन दिस इज वन बाई टू प्लस पॉइंट नाइन 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 पॉइंट फाइव प्लस पॉइंट नाइन 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 इज वन पॉइंट फोर नाइन नाइन वॉट इज ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर फंक्शन ऑफ वन पॉइंट फोर नाइन नाइन दैट इज डेफिनेटली इक्वल टू वन देर फोर दिस इज वन डू यू अग्री विथ मी सो वॉट इज आंसर दैट मीन्स टू से यूल हैव समथिंग देर वॉट इज दैट समथिंग यू जस्ट सी अ टर्म बिफोर दिस वॉट यूल हैव हियर वन बै टू प्लस नईन नईटी एट डिवैडेड बै तौस दिस इज पॉइंट नईन नईन एट प्लस वन बै टू इट इज ए नंबर ग्रेटर दैन वन अंड इट्स इंटीग्रल वैल्यू द ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर फंक्शन ईज डेफिनेटली ईक्वल टू वन बिकॉज इट इज ग्रेटर दैन वन अंड लेस दैन टू पॉइंट वन पॉइंट फोर नईन एट सो दट मीन टू से यूल गेट वन हियर इट स्टार्टेड विथ जीरो अट दि एंड वी आर गेटिंग वन मीन इन बिटवीन देर शुड बी ए Break for this. What is that? So you have point five plus one by thousand, point five plus two by thousand, point five plus three by thousand, up to point five. See up to here, point five. One by two plus one by thousand, two by thousand, three by thousand, four ninety nine by thousand, four ninety nine by thousand. Even 499 by 1000 will give us 0.499. 0.5 plus 0.499 will give us what? 0.999. Right? So 0.999 integral greatest integer value is equal to zero. Therefore, this first first full line will give us zero. So what is this line, dear students? See here. What is this? This is. One by two. After four ninety nine, we will get five hundred. Five hundred divided by thousand. What is five hundred by thousand? One by two. One by two plus one by two is one. Greatest integer value is one. So next, what you will get? One by two plus five not one by thousand. What is five hundred and one by thousand? Point five zero one plus. Of course, this is point five. That is one point zero one. Greatest integer function of 1.01 is also one. Like that, it continues. Now the question arises: How many terms are there? The terms, number of terms are very very simple. See here, this is 500. That is 999. Number of terms is one plus one up to one. How many terms are there here? Number of terms are given by see here. 999 minus 500 plus 1. That's how we calculate. 0 to 99 we have 100 numbers. 500 to 999, including 500, we have totally 500 numbers. That means to say that one is added 500 times means 500. Therefore, option C is correct.